She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. 16 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Chica, the Tiny Tornado! Just underway here, Joe, in the strawweight division. Torres likes to finish her combinations with head kicks, Joe. Let's keep a watch. She certainly does, and she'll often do them in a very sneaky way off the front leg, throwing them over the shoulder. We don't see it coming until it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. The Torres already landing. We talked about it earlier. She earned respect very early, and it makes her opponent start to take a back seat to her because she's fast and she beats them to the punch. A lot of people felt like perhaps this matchup and some of the similarities could bring out the best in Tisha Torres. She is finding her range early. Seconds remaining in the tornado now, picking up her pace with strikes, but pops the right hand and the left and now unloading on Reynolds, backing up. Five seconds, round number Torres is light on her feet, throwing everything behind that jab and being real successful right now. Round two of this battle on our prelims. Stand up with this girl, you're getting out struck, you're getting out moved. Long be as she about. keeps moving, long as she keeps moving, she'll be fine. You notice how she kept that kick out there and extended it again. That's that Taekwondo background that she has. And Torres leading the way big time. Oh, Torres, nice strikes. Right under a minute on the clock here in round two. Nice stick and move by Torres. Keisha Torres is tagging her right now, John. Torres is so much faster than her right now. And there's that front leg side kick that she utilizes so well. Even just to push a fighter away from her. And her balance is so good, she can throw two of them. She throws the first one, you go to grab it, she kicks into the second one. So a little bit more deliberate pace in the second round as we go under a minute to go. As she did in the first round, it's Torres taking the center of the octagon. Oh, look at this. Torres on top. I would tell you she would. It's the tiny tornado right there. Beautiful job by Tisha. Tisha's certainly the one that's scoring out of this, though. Being on top, landing those good ground and pound shots that she's landed. She's found her rhythm in striking. Starting to see that patented killer instinct out of Tisha Torres. This is the most grueling aspect of MMA. Oh, it's a, it ate a right hand counter there from Tisha. That is three of those big right hands landed by Torres already. Very light on her feet, for sure. Very good with angles, too. Just left, right. I don't know where she's going. And then plants. Oh, she does it again. Yeah. It's like the thicker, stronger fighter, but she's shorter. Against Torres, she's the taller fighter, but Torres already landing the big right hand. We talked about it earlier. Corner column for pressure. And right hand lands flush for Torres. Nice combination by Torres. You see the total strike percentage over 50% for Torres. Wow. Couple of big strikes. It's almost worked into the hands of the tiny tornado. Oh, look at that. That's what Tisha Torres is known so Oh, man. Sensational. Look at that. Oh, get it again. Can she gets caught on the way 
saw the head strikes oh. up here, 60 now for Torres. Really nice short right hand she left right there, Mike. And then she's the to the southpaw. Now, she's like she's a tiny tornado. Yeah, that was classic Tisha Torres at her best. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Rear naked choke locked in. How deep is it? That is All three summer. judges score this contest. 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision. Tisha, the Tiny Tornado Torres! I'm here with the winner, Tisha Torres. First of all, Tisha, congratulations on an excellent time.